going on folks mark mallet from solar world here uh, another satisfied customer what we're doing today we just delivered this sucker out to close to abilene texas uh it is the ugmo 2870 what that means is 2870 watts uh they are using the solar ever 410 watt series there are seven panels in configuration uh, we are using the 6kw grow watt series off-grid 48 volt inverter this one's a little different than the uh, es series this one has a heavy state transformer or weighs about 100 pounds uh, compared to the um, other inverters that we're dealing with which weigh about roughly about 40. Uh, same platform we're using the uh, eg4 uh, lipo i'm sorry lithium iron phosphate uh, 5.125 kw lithium iron phosphate batteries um, with this conjunction so we have about 10 kw of power output uh, this is just a normal job box painted on one of our frames that we build custom for each one of these applications. So this is the DC power supply coming in from the solar itself, as you can tell. And it comes down the back end part of the, uh, the system. Oh, come on, you little turd. Uh, we have a standardized breaker coming into that, carrying roughly about 120 volts. Uh, let's see, and then we go through the functions here. We've got 99% of the battery still. And we have testing loads as of right now, running everything in the house. So this is the AC power supply. So this takes the inverter's AC power and converts it to that switch right there, which is the same as just like him. That's DC and AC, right? Uh, that takes a 75 foot whip and runs the power over to one of the standardized manual transfer switches. This is a 30 amp platform by Protron. So the outdoor panel is sitting right here. All we had to do was basically steal six of the switches that were sitting here. There's not a whole lot on this tiny home here. So we got 240 coming off of the leg uh, L1 and L2, making 240. For the air conditioner, we have uh, water, lights, TVs, communications, refrigerator, um, and then some other miscellaneous stuff in the, the back room there. And this is where the whip comes in. It just plugs in like a normal uh, generator itself. And the trailer's sitting out there. All right, folks, this is the end of the job. Another satisfied customer, like I said. If you have any problems, questions, or concerns, go ahead and uh, write me or uh, call me, and I'll gladly uh, answer as much as I can. Uh, until then, God bless. I hope you love the videos. Thank you.